like Goku at all. Hey, what's up? This is Apology Man. You might know me from my fifth place showing at the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals in 2020, and many other top eight placings at other Dragon Ball Fighters majors. And today, I'm going to be showing you a guide on Yamcha. Time to show you how hard I've been training. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and check out their website for all things FGC. So first, let's talk about Yamcha's neutral game options. In my opinion, one of his best buttons on the ground is his 5L. His 5L comes out quite quickly and advances Yamcha forward just a little bit and is a really good approach tool from a dash. Yamcha is trying to close the gap and apply his unique pressure game, so using this normal is going to be really important. Also, it has a decent auto combo follow-up on whiff, so approaching on the ground with this button is really strong. Another one of his really strong buttons is his 5S. His 5S, as you can see, moves him a little bit backwards, and he shoots a key blast. While this doesn't seem like a big deal, and it isn't a multi-hitting key blast like some of the other characters in this game have. Because it comes out quickly and moves backwards, it gives you time to actually react and punish your opponent's super dash because of the added travel time. Just like that. You can do it from really close up too because of just how quickly Yamcha recovers from doing the key blast. Next, let's talk about Yamcha's special moves. And we can't talk about Yamcha's special moves unless we talk about the most quintessential special move in Yamcha's arsenal, which is the EX Wolf Fang Fist. This is inputted by performing a regular Wolf Fang Fist with lighter medium and then canceling into his heavy, which gives him the EX follow-up. It costs half a bar because it is an EX move and it comes out incredibly fast, coming at 21 frames from full screen, which is insane. And from a closer range, it comes at 15 frames. It's safe on block, so you won't get punished for doing it either. You do, however, have to be careful for whiffing it, because if you do whiff it, it has a little bit of added whiff recovery after it misses, which was actually added in a patch somewhat recently. But this move is incredibly important for Yamcha, and is really important in his ground games and his mix-up game. If you see what I did there, I canceled Yamcha's medium Wolf Fang Fist, which is normally a cross-up that is generally pretty slow and reactable, into his EX Wolf Fang Fist. If you do this properly, you can get this to come out at 28 frames. You can tell by the frame data indicator uh, if you're hitting the 28 frame uh, EX Wolfang Fist as a cross up because that is as fast as you can do it. If you do it a little bit slow, it'll be up to maybe like 32 or something. But you want to aim to hit the 28 frames. That's how you know you're doing it fast. This, the EX Wolfang Fist is so good that you can also punish key blasts into reflect on block. It, like if they do a key blast into vanish, you can reflect it on block and punish it. It's like the only special move in the game that can even do that. <laughs> only something Yamcha can do. So it is incredibly unique to him and incredibly strong in this game. Another thing, about Yamcha's special moves is his air EX Wolfang Fist, his Gale Claws, which is really good versus punishing Super Dash in the air. It is a frame one air invul special move, so it is really good at punishing the Super Dashes, even when they're somewhat close up and like a little bit harder to react to. And it lets you get a combo afterwards into your super, like your spirit ball. Next, let's talk about Yamcha's assists. 
it is, in my opinion, one of the main reasons to pick Yamcha on your team in this game, because his assists are incredibly strong. His first assist, which is his A assist, is his Wolf Fang Fist. Coming in at 19 frames, which is incredibly fast point blank, and it has 40 frames of block stun. Usually assists in this game don't come out that fast and also have that amount of block stun. So it is really strong assist to just kind of jump around and call on the ground. And you can also jail your super dash into it. This is probably one of the most universal ways to use it and you can use it to get really good high-low mix-ups just because of how much block stun it puts the opponent in. Another good thing about the assist is that it keeps the opponent standing. Because of that, you can use characters like Majin Buu to actually create restand mix-ups. Which is really strong with his fat throw and it is just an overall really powerful assist. Definitely one of the main go-to assists if you're gonna play Yamcha. His B assist is his beam assist, which is Kamehameha. Which is kind of interesting because the beam assist actually doesn't match the frame data of Yamcha doing Kamehameha when he's on point. It actually has the same exact frame data as a standard beam assist, uh, as super like Super Saiyan Goku or Goku Black or Trunks B, it is exactly the same as it, which is really nice, making it a really flexible assist to use. Beams are really strong in this game. It's a bit of a tough sell. I generally feel like if you want to play a beam assist, you should pick uh, another character, like Super Saiyan Goku, for example. But it is really nice that he has both of these assist options, making him a really flexible choice to put on your team. And you know, you just can't go wrong with the beam assist, honestly. So if you want to play Yamcha and have a beam, it is available, which is really good. Makes his support value really high. And next is the C assist, which is this tracking uh, EX Wolf Fang Fist. Has like a lot of block stun, and it comes out at a decent speed. You know, it does see assist things, but I can't recommend it as much as Yamcha's A assist, in my opinion. Now let's talk about Yamcha's pressure options. Yamcha's pressure options are really unique compared to the rest of the cast and are incredibly strong because of just how many different options that he has. Yamcha has ways to cross you up, stay same side, make himself plus on block. I showed earlier that if you cancel your medium Wolf Fang Fist into the EX follow-up like that, you can get a 28 frame cross-up, which is really, really fast. Now, if you combine that with his plus move, which is 5H, he does a back flipping normal, which is really good uh, counter hitting the opponent for mashing or baiting reflex and sparking blast. But the great thing about this move is that it's plus on block. As you can see in the frame advantage indicator right there, it's plus four. So if I hit a button afterwards and they try to hit a button back, they will get counter hit by my 5L. That combined with his 5LL, which does a small pull out of the corner, if you notice, it's very, very slight, but because it kind of vacuums the opponent out of the corner, it creates this tiny gap, which lets you get a cross-up jump light in the corner, which is really, really strong. Now, you can also go same side on your opponent, and his same side option, while you can do same side super dash, you want to use his dive kick, which is his 2H. His dive kick can only be special canceled on block, but you can make it safe if your opponent blocks it. Or even go through and try to cross the opponent up with more special cancel options like that. There's a lot, a lot of different ways you can use the dive kick, the cross up, and the 5H. And all of this stuff gets really strong when you corner the opponent. Another really important uh, move to do with Yamcha when you're trying to open the opponent up is actually just a Dragon Rush. It sounds pretty straightforward, but if you combine the cross-up EX Wolf Fang Fist, the same side dive kick, crossing up jump M, crossing up jump light, 
all of a sudden, the Dragon Rush becomes really, really hard to tech on top of it. And if the opponent is looking to, like, reflect the 5H, which is how you're supposed to deal with that move because you don't want to make him plus forever, there's just too many offensive options to deal with. And this is why Yamcha is really strong at opening up opponents by himself. Let me show you a couple of basic B and B combos that you can do with Yamcha. I will show one combo off of his 5L mid screen and one in the corner. I'll show the first mid screen combo right now. We'll have the inputs below as well. A couple things to note about this combo are that you actually don't do the normal combo structure that you do in Dragon Ball Fighters, which is the light, medium, 2M, 5M into uh, jump 2H. Because Yamcha has a dive kick as a replacement for his jump 2H. He doesn't have the regular jump 2Hs that like give air smashes that most characters have. So because of that, the only way to really combo into his uh, air combos is to use his 2H. You can't combo into his 5H because it's this backwards flip and he doesn't have the air jump 2H. So you wanna confirm straight into the 2H right after 2M, 5M. And then go into the full air combo and with jump H into the Gale Claws. Uh, his jump H hits away like this, which is pretty uncommon. Most uh, jump H is knocked to the floor. But uh, there was a buff this season, which lets you actually always combo this jump H into his 236M anywhere on the screen, which is really nice. And that's kind of how you end the combo and go into supers. And what you saw at the end, actually, was that I comboed his Spirit Ball super into his level 3. And the way you have to do that is you have to input the Spirit Ball in very specific directions to do so. We'll have the inputs for that below, but trust me when I say... There are a lot of ways, like a lot of lot of ways to combo your spirit ball into the level three. There's a ton of different directions. I've seen many players do many different ways of controlling the spirit ball to get the level three. So find the one that works for you. Uh, the one that I did just now is up back, back, up back, back, and then down back, which is seven, four, seven, four, one. That is the one that I do mid screen. And that gets you to level three. So now let me show you his corner combo. So a couple different things about the corner combo compared to the mid-screen combo. You can actually go into his full auto combo, which lets you get this amount of knockback that lets you run up and link a 2M afterwards. Uh, this is, this full auto combo is gonna use your smash. So when you use your 2H in the combo, it's not gonna smash. So it's gonna hit in a different way. Instead, the 2H will just kind of hit uh, in, a, in a way that lets you not like push them back super far away, which, and it also still has enough hit stun to combo into a super dash, which is like generally his like co corner combo optimal route. You can also do it off of uh, his uh, EX Wolf Fang Fist. So if you ever land a cross up, you can go into 2H, super dash into a full air combo. But at the end of the combo, what you can do in the corner only is you can do jump H, jump S, and then end with the Gale, the Gale Claw at the end. That's kind of like something that you can only do in the corner. As you can see, I did a different Spirit Ball direction series to get the level three combo after the Spirit Ball. So, I'll have the inputs for that below. Um, once again, there's many ways to do this. There's many different directions that can give you the same result. But the one that I did in this combo is back, up, 
forward, back, down forward. That's that's the th- those are the directions that I do for the spirit ball to keep them in the corner and still get the level three because you want to be able to do the level three in the corner so that you can you know if if the opponent is still alive you want to get the level three oki in the corner which is really strong for yamcha so being able to get the damage with the spirit ball and then go into his level three really really important to know those directions and then you can apply mix-ups afterwards a lot of the strengths that I've been speaking about throughout this video for Yamcha has been about his solo functionality. And this is because of his ability to open the opponent up by himself with his many ways of pressure with his cross up, his 5H, his same side dive kicks, etc, etc. He has a lot of ways to open you up solo, which is a very rare trait to have in this game. Most characters need to use an assist to really open the opponent up or just use the regular system mechanics like Dragon Rush. But if he has all these offensive options, it makes it really difficult to just defend against him by himself. And because of that, you wanna play him, honestly, like just in the anchor position. I, I can't really recommend him in any other position on your team, except for anchor, because his ability to open you up by himself is strong and his assists are really strong. So your first two characters can really take advantage of the assists that he has. So once you're finally by yourself as Yamcha and you're just solo, that's when his anchor ability also kind of shines. So outside of his pressure that I spoke about earlier, his sparking pressure is also really strong. As you can see, he can actually make the opponent come to the floor with his dive kick and air dash cancel it and go into a cross up or a same side, which is really, really strong. And it adds to his overall pressure game with the jump cancels and the air dash cancels by using his dive kick for same side stuff or using it to cross up with jumping M. It becomes really difficult to defend him in sparking. Just further, further exemplifying the fact that you should play him in the anchor position. And you use that with his 5S game, his heavy amount of meter that he's going to have in the later part of the game. You just have an overall really solid anchor character that can really hold down the game or make a comeback for you. Now finally, let's talk about Yamcha's weaknesses. And while the strengths that I mentioned in this video are quite good, he unfortunately has quite a few weaknesses specifically this season, and it's more so to do with other characters, uh, kind of outclassing him. Uh, his role, like I said, is the anchor position, and the thing with him is he doesn't have the best key blast game. He shoots a single key blast like this, and this is good in some matchups. Like, matchups like Bardock or Piccolo, having this one shot key blast is actually quite good versus those characters and just characters that don't have multi shooting key blasts. But a lot of the late game anchor characters in this game that are relevant now are characters like Broly, Android 21, Janemba, etc. And those characters are all over the place. And when Yamcha runs into those matchups, like he, he's he's struggling. Like he can't get in on these characters. And he can't like shoot key blasts back. Like he he really struggles versus these characters. And I think this is kind of like his biggest flaw. Is by the time you get to playing Yamcha in the match in the, at, towards the end of the game, he starts to just run into a ton of bad matchups just because of what the meta is kind of at right now. And his strengths kind of get overlooked and kind of outshined by just how big his weaknesses are, which kind of sucks. But, you know, even though it's really hard to get in on these characters, if you finally do get in just from dash blocking or just having like overall good movement and you make the opponent block and start actually applying your offense, you can make the best of it and still make comebacks in my opinion. But that for sure has to be 
Yamcha's biggest weakness is just dealing with the key blast neutral game that a lot of late game characters have. So I hope you guys liked that video and maybe learned a thing or two about playing Yamcha. If you liked the video, please make sure to leave a like or comment below and let me know. Do you want to play Yamcha yourself? Do some EX Wolf Fang Fist? Uh, let me know. And you can also check out all the things that were shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description below. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.